Hello to you and how do you do? I'm happy to see you. Hello to you. Hey friends and welcome to the Ambitious Little Learners YouTube channel. I am Miss H and I am so happy to see you on today. How are you feeling? Are you feeling happy, happy? If so, give me a big smile. Maybe you're feeling just a little bit sad and that's okay. Maybe you're feeling just a little bit sleepy. You might even be feeling a little bit mad. However you are feeling on today, it's okay. But I hope that after watching today's video, your heart will be filled with just a little bit more joy. Wait a minute. Friends, do you hear that? What is that sound? Sounds like a bell. Oh. <gasps> Just looked at my watch. Do you know what time it is? It's rhyme time. Today, we are going to talk about rhyming. Oh, yes, you are. Do you know what rhyming words are? Rhyming words are words that sound the same in the middle and the end. Yeah. Like the word cat and hat. Those two words rhyme. Or the word car and star. Those two words rhyme because they sound the same in the middle and the end. Today, we are going to read a book that is full of rhyming words. This book is called Dog on a Frog. Here's our front cover. Here's our back cover. And here is the spine. I want you to turn your listening ears on and make sure that every time you hear words that rhyme in this book as I'm reading, you go ahead and tap your nose. Can you do that? Every time you hear some words that rhyme in my read aloud, I want you to go ahead and tap your nose. You got it? Are you ready? Here we go. Dog on a Frog by Tess and Claire Gray and Jim Field. Dog on a Frog. Hey, dog, get off the frog, said the frog. But I like sitting on frogs, said the dog. Frogs are all squishy and squashy, and when you sit on them, they go croak. You know the rules, said the cat. Cats sit on mats, frogs sit on logs, and dogs sit on frogs. Well, I'm changing the rules, said the frog. From now on, dogs sit on logs, not frogs. Really? said the dog. Really? said the frog. Dogs sit on logs and cats sit on nets. Ouch. What will the bear sit on? Asked the dog. Bears will sit on stairs, said the frog. What will slugs sit on? Asked the dog. Slugs will sit on pugs, said the frog. Slugs will sit on plugs. Flies will sit on pies. Crickets will sit on tickets. And moths will sit on claws.
What will leopards sit on? asked the dog. Leopards will sit on shepherds, said the frog. Leopards will sit on shepherds and cheetahs will sit on fajitas. You're really getting the hang of this, said the dog. I know, said the frog, and that's not all. Noodles will sit on canoes, pigs will sit on wigs, and boars will sit on oars. What will whales sit on? asked the dog. Whales will sit on nails, said the frog. I'm not sure the whales will like that, said the dog. They don't have to like it, said the frog. They just have to do it. What will dragons sit on? asked the dog. Dragons will sit on wagons, said the frog. Dragons will sit on wagons. Mice will sit on ice. Kittens will sit on mittens. And puppies will sit on guppies. What will canaries sit on? asked the dog. Canaries will sit on fairies, said the frog. Canaries will sit on fairies. Possums will sit on blossoms, hens will sit on pens, baboons will sit on balloons, and poodles will sit on noodles. Poodles aren't going to sit on noodles, gasped the dog. They are now, the frog smiled. Hold on, said the cat. If dogs sit on logs and cats sit on nets, bears sit on stairs, slugs sit on plugs, flies sit on pies, crickets sit on tickets, moths sit on cloths, leopards sit on shepherds, cheetahs sit on fajitas, noos sit on canoes, pigs sit on wigs, boars sit on oars, whales sit on nails, dragons sit on wagons, mice sit on ice, kittens sit on mittens, puppies sit on guppies, canaries sit on fairies, Possums sit on blossoms, hens sit on pens, baboons sit on balloons, and poodles sit on noodles. What are frogs going to sit on? asked the dog. These, said the frog. B and Wow! Friends, that book was full of rhyming words. Words that sound the same in the middle and at the end. Yeah! That frog was really trying to change the rules so the dog wouldn't sit on him anymore. Let's practice some rhyming on our own. We're going to look at two pictures and if they rhyme, I want you to say, they rhyme! They rhyme. If they don't rhyme, I want you to say, they don't rhyme, they don't rhyme. Let's try it out. All right, friends, are you ready to play? Do they rhyme? We are going to look at two pictures and we're going to say the names of both pictures. If they rhyme, we're going to say, they rhyme, they rhyme. If they don't rhyme, we have to say, they don't rhyme, they don't rhyme. Let's get ready. Do they rhyme? Dog, frog, dog, frog. They rhyme, they rhyme. Let's look at another. Do they rhyme? Dice, ice. Dice, ice, they rhyme, they rhyme. Do they rhyme? Boat, lion, boat, lion, 
They don't rhyme. They don't rhyme. Good listening. Do they rhyme? Jar, car, jar, car. They rhyme. They rhyme. Do they rhyme? Ring, sock, ring, sock. They don't rhyme. They don't rhyme. Do they rhyme? House, mouse, house, mouse. They rhyme. They rhyme. Wow! You did such a wonderful job listening and identifying rhymes. Give yourself a round of applause. Moms, dads, and grown-ups, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like this video. And also be sure to follow and like us on Facebook so you can follow up with more rhyming activities this week. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.